I'm here in Catechill, New York at the studio of Natalie Wargen, whose paintings are inspired by the nature that surrounds her. Let's go. I'm working on a, um, an acrylic painting, an 18 by 24, my usual horizontal size. The topic is a walk that I took with a couple of friends up at Mohonk, and it was spring, this was a few years ago, and we were walking, we were talking, and we were laughing, goofing around, and we turned this corner, and my friend Mary Grace almost stepped on a porcupine. I mean, the pork, and I had never seen a porcupine before, I mean, outside of a zoo, and here's this porcupine, and the porcupine was just sitting there eating. And the porcupine was like nothing, you know, we were nothing to this porcupine. Eventually the porcupine got up and wandered, and I took a bunch of photographs. So that's what this painting is. I would describe my work as maximalist. I do a lot of detail. I use a lot of color. When I post a new painting on my blog or on Instagram, there's always a story. And I do that for two reasons. Um, one, because I want to tell what prompted the painting and what is going on in the painting. And the other thing that I do is I, ca I can kind of lead the viewer around the painting and point out details that, unless you really look at the painting for a while, you might miss. I do not have a fine arts background. I have a graphic designs background. I have a degree in, in graphics from the University of Illinois Chicago campus. And I had uh, a business for 20 years doing graphic design in Chicago. We moved to, here to Cottekill, Hudson Valley, beautiful Hudson Valley, uh, almost 15 years ago. And um, I had retired more or less from graphic design before we left. And I got here and we had a dog and um, we would take walks and the dog would stop to sniff and I would stop to look. And I started looking and I saw all kinds of things. I saw bears in my front yard. I saw coyotes all over the place. Red foxes are everywhere. Um, all the birds and, and I got a chance to sort of let my eyes linger on things. And I started doing some watercolors. And I kind of liked it. I, I didn't have a look or anything. I just, I kind of liked it and I kept going. And I think the trick is to do it every day. I think that's the trick. And, um, and I did because it was very pleasant. And so eventually I moved on to acrylics and that's where I am now. I mean, I, I'm really not a fine artist. I mean, I do it, but I'm, I just, I'm not trained that way. So I use the tricks I know. I, I don't like to draw. So if I've done, say now I'm working on a painting with porcupines. If I've done a porcupine sketch, even if it's a loose sketch, I don't ever want to draw that again. I really don't. So I scan it into my computer. And that's how I put my drawings together. I do little bits by little bits, and then I piece them together. And the beauty of this, is that I can move things a little bit here, a little bit there, um, make the composition better to my eye, and then I can enlarge it to a full-size sketch, print that out, you have to tile it out, piece it together, and I use a piece of transfer paper, and I trace it onto my board, and then I do an underpainting. And the underpainting is always in black, uh, and because the, the, the drawings are so detailed and there are all kinds of little flowers and little things going on, this really helps me. Because it, it starts to look almost like, like when you're doing a paint by number thing. You know, you can actually see that here's a flower, here's a bird. And then I apply the color over that. And the way I use acrylics is um, as washes. I don't, I don't throw a lot of paint at the board. I, I work in, in slow, small layers. I build my color up, and this allows me to make changes, too, really easily. I think what you need to start doing this is, I think you need to feel something in here. I think you, something has to grab you. I feel that in every piece that I make, there's some part of me. And there's a part when I'm painting where I feel it happen, I physically feel it. 
And I think that's the thing. I think people need to find something that really works for them, that really gets their mind going, gets their heart going.